Hey guys, this is Azalito, and I'm bringing you something a little bit different today. I got some League of Legends in store for you guys today, because this is a really fun match I had maybe a week or so ago on the most what recent patch. Uh, I'll probably leave a note saying what patch it is and such, but this is a game of me playing Callista Top. It was a very fun and interesting game, and I felt like I should record it and show it off to you guys. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to keep on here, because I did want to use the... Um, the replay system, so you'll see like my mouse and stuff float around here every now and then. Because I, my computer doesn't really handle in-game recording well, so I thought I'd do the replay recordings instead. So I could show off the game to you guys and such. Because uh, I really like League of Legends. I've been playing this game for probably around six years now, I think, since 2011. Right around when Season 1 was ending and Season 2 was beginning. So I have a lot of experience playing the game, even though I'm not really the best at playing it. And you'll probably see a lot of stuff happening. You, I left the minimap this time up, but before I tried to record this, I didn't have the minimap down there, but I felt like I should have it so that way you guys can see what's going on on the map, what's happening. I'm playing along with my other friends Maybe right now. Uh, Tiv, Oren, who, who I usually just call Tiv, on Zach, and Pippin123, who is I, I'll also probably refer to just as Bree because that's the name I, I'm most associated with when playing with them. And then we also have Meast with us as well. He's... A friend of theirs, so I don't really know him that much, but he often plays with us. And I'm going to be playing Callista, like I said before, and I might as well go over her skills if I can see him here. We have our passive, which is Martial Pose. Enter a movement command while winding up Callista's basic attack or pierce to lunge short distance when she launches. Basically, as you can see here, when I auto attack, I can move myself at the same time. And also, you'll. Uh, and now, might as well go over the rest of her skills as well. So, the first one I took level in right here is Rend. Close the spheres, pierce the targets, lingering for four seconds after you hit the person. So, you see, like, I hit the minions, and you'll see a spear just sitting there on them. And it lasts for four seconds until it goes away. It, when you activate it, though, you can rip the spears from them, and it deals damage uh, to them, and, depending on how many spears are in them, and slows the movement speed for a bit. And if you kill a target while rending, you get the cooldown refunded on it. With level 2 now, I take a level of my Q, which is Pierce. Hurl a Faust, but narrow sphere that deals damage, and triggers martial posts that set your W, passive, and your rend as well. And, if it kill and the special thing with Pierce is if it kills it in a target, it'll continue onward, and any spears that were in the target you threw the pierce at will continue along with that. So you could actually stack up a lot of spears on something, use pierce to kill it, and then the, all those spears will be stacked over. You'll see me try to do that a couple times this game. I'm not really the best at Callista at all. Like, the real reason I really wanted to record this game is because it was just fun to play and how silly it was. Because, honestly, I probably should have lost this matchup against Teemo. And now with level 3A, shortly I should be taking a level of my W, which is Sentinel. When Callista is near her Oath Swarm, which is the person she uses her passive, or she gets a passive item at the beginning of the game, which is a Black Spear, she can stick someone and they become their Oath Swarm. She gets a lot of extra effects and abilities with them. Whenever she's near them, she gains additional attack speed, and both their attacks, uh, when they both attack the same target, they deal 5% of their maximum health as magic damage. And it has a 10 second cooldown on it. When you activate it, you send out a little gold ghost sentinel that floats around and will spot champions and reveal them for 4 seconds. And they last for 3 laps. And as you can see right here, we have Zek coming in for an early gank on Teemo. Hopefully we're gonna like shut him down early because he's annoying. And I I honestly actually didn't really need the ganks because the, this Teemo, unlike most Teemos I faced, was extremely passive. And bam, we get an early flash out of him. A really good early gank to help cement a good lead for us. And I wanted to leave the scoreboard up top so you know the score, the gold between each person, and also the thing at the bottom so you can see items as well, so you know what people are purchasing, what they're building, and so on and so forth. However, I'm going to keep the camera focused on me. Whenever it's not focused on me, it'll go to other people and we'll watch them, but... See right, see right now, you see that right now Mordecai is being ganked in the mid lane. We have no idea what's happening because it's focused on me. If this happens, I will have a pop-up coming up on the screen of the recording to show what happened. Because I plan to record all those as well and have them inside the, inside the video so you know everything that's going on. So an early kill for us, good start. We've taken an early gold advantage, which is awesome. Uh, a lot of this early game is kind of boring. Nothing really is going to happen at all, I don't believe. So, 
like I said before, I played this game for a while. I really enjoy League of Legends, and I've wanted to record it for a while now, but because of my computer, it's not really the best to record with. So I decided to do it through the replays instead because I knew I, I'd be able to record it without it overloading my computer that much. And I also wanted to do this as a way to get to know you guys, too. I want to, like... I want to know what you think of my videos so far. Right now, currently at the time of recording this, I have Final Fantasy X and Ukulele going on with Yu-Gi-Oh! on hiatus and Shining Force having been finished. And I just want to know what you guys think of the videos in general. And also, I want to know what you think of this video as well, because I plan to do more of these later on. Like, Even if they're wins, losses, doesn't matter to me. If it's an interesting game, I would kind of want to record it and just show it off. Alrighty. And we're approaching level 6 when we get our ultimate, so I might as well explain what that is. Her ultimate, she draws her Oath Sworn to her, and for 4 seconds the Oath Sworn is untargetable and pacified, meaning they can't be targeted at all. They're immune to everything. And the second part of it is the Oath Sworn may click somewhere nearby within a certain range that they can throw themselves to and knock up any, any enemies they hit. With Zack, this is a very devastating combo, and it's the main reason why I wanted to pick Kalista in this matchup. Because with Zack, it's, it's very fun and interesting to do, but I do mess it up once. I will be pointing it out when we get to there. Oh, looks like they caught Mordekaiser out in the river again. <laughs> Going for the Scuttle Crab, but it looks like another early roam, fa Zack found him, and they got another kill on him. Eve's just kind of sitting in their jungle, letting him die. Oh well, that kind of sucks for him. And I'm keeping Teemo pushed up, want to keep farming against him, just want to show the early supremacy we have. Oh, missed the yank on Teemo unfortunately, but that's alright. Zach just, was just roaming up here to see if he can get a kill. Unfortunately, because of the miss, we weren't able to get anything, but that's alright. We're just going to back off now, buy items, and go back to lane. No. And really, the only person who doesn't do too good in this game is the Lucian on our team, for my team's perspective at least. He was the only random person we had, so he kind of didn't do the best with communicating with the team and such, and he honestly played pretty bad, but in the end, we still did pretty good this game, I think. Like, I did alright. And we're back to lane from Teleport, so we'll get here early. I got an early recurve bolt, which will help my auto attacks a lot. Kalista's a very auto attack dependent champion, so she so me buy a lot of attack speed items, so that way she can get her spears out really fast, and so she can deal a lot of damage with her rend and such. Alrighty, not much happening. It looks like Mordekaiser's in a pretty finicky situation, though. Nope, okay, they just back off. The Mordekaiser in the early game ended up getting ganked a lot, because that's his downside. He doesn't really have a whole lot of mobility, so Zack can get around and just punish him very, very easily. Look, looks like they might be trying to do it again. Oh, but Eve's been spotted, so... Backing off for now, I think. And if I ever do recordings like this again, you'll often probably see me play with at least Tiv and Bree often. I play with them all the time. And we end up having some good games, a lot of bad games, but eh, I still enjoy playing with them. Oh, it looks like we're going in, they're going in for an early gank on bottom because the support's not there, and it looks like they probably will secure a kill. Eventually. Ah, unfortunately Bree dies there, but I believe they get a double kill off this. Yep, there goes the AD carry, and... Nope, support still lives, alrighty. Well, alright, I'll make sure to get a foot into that and see what happened exactly there. Because it seemed kind of weird. But that's alright. Teemo is starting to lay shrooms around. He doesn't really lay a whole lot of them. This Teemo is like the most passive Teemo I've ever fought against. He didn't do a lot of shrooms, he didn't harass me a lot. He just kind of sat back and tried to farm. And there was a gank on- Oh, They got caught Evelyn out in the jungle. Very nice in Bottom River. Good. I think the fact that we shut down Mordekaiser so early, and Evelyn as well, she does get a bit stronger later on, but the fact that we put them down so hard early on in the game 
helps cement our lead very much in this game. And once again, I thought I closed out of all my window stuff, but apparently they still want to ping me. Alrighty. Anyway, oh, shrooms, shit. And we step into shrooms. Oh, we step into another shroom. Good job, me. Eat a biscuit, you asshole. <laughs> yeah, I only step in a couple of them because, like I said before, the team was not that aggressive, so he didn't really lay a whole lot of them in the lane during laning phase. Later on, they'll be a bit more annoying, but not so much here. Oh, there's a gank happening in bot lane. That's not good. And Lucian dies for it. And that kind of sucks. But here we go. Attack the Teemo. Fuck Teemo's asshole up. And there we go. That's the ult right there. I draw Zack back into me. He flies back out, knocks him up. We combo him and take an easy kill off Teemo. And unfortunately, it looks like they're going for Dragon now because Zack's all the way up in top lane. It's two versus four. It's kind of a shaky situation. Can they make anything out of it, though? Ah, no, unfortunately they get the dragon. That's not good. However, they kill Zaya, which is good, but we lose Bree in the accident, so that's not too great. Oh, come on, get out of there. Mordekaiser went too far and died because because he really wanted the kill. Hey, and we got the support as well, so in the end, we, they got a dragon, but we killed and got three kills out of it for one, so... It kind of evened itself out. You see, we still have an early gold lead still. Up by a little under 2k. But we also have 9 kills this early, which is a, a, an incredibly high amount. Unfortunately, most of this early game is just boring farming, so... Sorry that there's not a whole lot of interesting things going on or commentary with the screen, because I'm sitting here watching myself. I mean, it's. I figure it's my channel. I should record what I wanted to, and I want to record the stuff that I do. But at the same time, I do understand that there's other things going on, which is why I said that I'll put up little posts of what happens in the uh, other lanes. So that way, you can see everything that's going on. And right here, we're gonna go for Rift Herald. Evelyn finds me, nearly kills me. Thankfully, Zach was there when I needed him to be, so we could get that kill on Evelyn and get out easily. And then we have a roam into mid lane to kill Mordekaiser yet again, I would assume. It looks like it. I come over here to try and get him assist, but they still kill him before I can do anything. Oh, but unfortunately he does kill Oriana before it happens. Which shuts down Oriana, but that which kind of sucks. That's the kill Mordekaiser kind of needed to get back in the game a bit, but he still died in the end, so it's not the best for him. Just wait. Feathers fly. Oh wow, they're diving really hard in the bot lane for that Lucian kill. <laughs> and here comes the roaming Zach for some more kills though. Why did you go back in, Lucian? You were out. You were fine. Uh, it's alright, it looks like they get the Zaya kill as well because she's heading straight for the turret. Yep. Alrighty. And you see, now I'm coming back to lane with Ru Runan's Hurricane. You'll see a little glowing orb around me. That's Runan's Hurricane. Whenever I throw out an auto attack, it throws out two more auto attacks on the nearest enemies nearby. With Kalista, that's super strong because she can get so many spears stacked up very quickly. And that'll help her damage output incredibly. Meanwhile, our Zac, you can see, has a... Uh, a couple of powerful jungle items there. He's going hard AP Zack for a lot of damage, and it seems to be working for the most part. Uh, Mies needs to be careful in the mid lane. Looks like he's about to be ganked, but Devilin is cautious at most. Oh, they're going in. Luckily, Zack's there. Come on, save him. Hey, they get the kill. Good job. Reverse ganked and got the kill. Very good. Oh, do they get Mordekaiser as well? Nope, he gets out. That sucks. Alrighty, not much more happening up here at the moment. 
currently just farm. Oh, the support got the kill on Mordekaiser because Bree roamed over and was able to get the kill. That's very nice because he was low enough. And we get the first turn of the game in mid lane. Very nice. That's an extra 300 gold for us. So now we're, our lead's even more cemented. We're up by nearly 5,000 gold. And I'm just going to be sitting up here farming for a bit longer, trying to get my turret. Timo's just playing passive, farming up. Just not really doing all that much in this game. Like, I believe he ends the game with 1-9 because he just really wasn't there for anything. And we ended up ganking him like three times in the early game, so he didn't really get a chance to build up any solid items either. Here I go, harassing onto Timo. If that Q had hit, that would probably would have been a lot of damage onto him, but I missed. Evelyn went bottom, ganked, got Lucian, unfortunately. But it looks like we might be getting a reverse kill, possibly. Dominate. Yes, we do. We get Zaya for it. That's good. Oh, but they got Mordekaiser coming down, too. That's unfortunate. Hopefully they can get out. Come on, guys. I believe in you. Oh. Hey, they got a kill on Zyra. Oh, but Free dies, unfortunately, for it. And I was about to teleport down there onto one of Zach's blobs, but it was a bit too late when they gave me that call, unfortunately. I could have helped save him, but it was a bit too late, because I was too busy trying to farm up here, so I wasn't paying attention to what was going on in the bot lane. It's kind of e interesting seeing the replays now, after I've done the, the whole fight, because it's like, I'm able to see things that I didn't know before, like where wards are right now, where what happens... Because people like Evelyn, you don't see unless you have like a pink border. She's really close to you, so you don't know where she is on the map. And it's kind of interesting to see that now. Timo went back to buy items, and because he took so long, I believe I get the first or my turn off this push. I just sit here. I believe I take a couple t turret shots for it. Yeah. But I made sure to get that turret for us. So now I'm a bit more available. I can go and roam into other lanes and try to make plays happen, which I believe I'm about to do right here in the bot lane. Because I look, see a whole bunch of people in the bot lane right now, and they're trying to get the bot lane. Do I teleport here? I don't know. No. It doesn't look like I do. Alrighty then. Looks like I'm just gonna go back for now. And I get my, uh, well, what you call it? Build water cook. Cutlass off that. That's gonna be very helpful for getting my Blade of the Ruin King a bit later on. And right there, you can see that there's a couple of red wards that are pretty deep in there. Those wards are about to be really critical, I believe, because right now is when I go in. I see that there's trouble in the bot lane. Yep, I teleported to those back wards. And here we go, let's start this fight. Immediately, I flash out of both those ultimates to get out of them, and we hard engage on them. I go for Zaya first because I know she can. She's the one that outdoes, outdeeps the damage. So we get her easy pick, and we go get Zyra as well. And Evelyn comes in, and we get her as well. So a three for nothing off an easy teleport. It was a very good play for us, and it helps cement our lead even further at this point. Oh, Mordekaiser gets too close. Boreana old, my old, Zach's old. So much CC. Five for nothing. Let's go get Dragon. That is the power of Oriana Zach Callista right there. Oriana ult into my ult, which knocked him up yet again, and then Zach's ult to knock him up for a third time. Easy, hard CC that they can't escape from. And it gives us a nice, easy segue to getting Cloud Dragon. So we want to make sure we don't let Mordekaiser get dragons this game. That's how Mordekaiser's real big strength is, because he'll get a ghost dragon that can follow him around and help kill things so the fact that we get the dragon there is very critical and important for us yeah. alrighty now things go to defuse go back into lanes farm back up we have all three of the front turrets for us so that's super good Ah, oh, poor rift herald goes away unfortunately we weren't able to get that in the end but that's alright Going back to the top lane now to continue farming. Get 
get a control ward down just in case. So we have two control wards here. My lane, pretty much, if I were to go back up there and sit in that top area, I'd be completely safe from Evelyn because they'd spot her the immediate, immediately when she shows up. For right here, you'll be able to see the power of Callista as she rends. So I stack a bunch of spears, pop the rend, bam, red buff's dead. Was easy. I didn't even lose any health because of build water cutlass. I had a bit of life steal. And now we're gonna torture poor Teemo with yet another gank. Whee! He flashes right into my open arms, and I take an easy kill. And at this point, I'm feeling feeling pretty good. Five zero three Callista with the farm. I'm under farm compared to Timo because he was able to sit up here and farm. I went down there, got kills instead. So he's zero three. I'm five four five zero. I feel like I'm in a better position. Now this is something I didn't know that that Evelyn was up there that entire time, patiently waiting for me. I thought I could catch her on Grop and be like, oh okay, she's there. But Mordekaiser's coming around. She's coming around. I die pretty quickly. Thankfully, Mordekaiser didn't use his ult on me, so he didn't get a ghost. So that's good. And now you see the camera's gonna float around here for a bit because I'm dead, so it's not gonna go on to me until I come back. So you get to see a bit of what else is going on right now. Apparently, the most action right now is right here on Evelyn, so that's what's happening. But now we're going to the mid lane, apparently, to see what's going on here. Mm, nothing yet. Just looks like a bunch of footsies. Nothing big happening right now, but it looks like everyone's going mid lane for possible ganks. Now they, they run away when they see them on wards. It's alright. But now we're back to me because I spawned! Yeah! And I run back to top lane to defend it, so that way Timo doesn't get my turret. Because he will have my turret. I won't let him. Hey, we're getting another kill mid. Very nice. Lucian, you're going a bit too far there, buddy. And Lucian dies. Oh, Rakano. Hey, oh, hey, there we go. I think they did the Rakano Oriana ult combo, get an easy kill off there, and with the CC of Zach, they get the kill on it. So, very nice. It was a four for one. Not bad for us. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. And we take the second turret off the mid lane too for that. That is very good for us, and it leaves uh, all, it leaves us a wide open area now to go through and pretty much go through the jungle without too much of a worry without the mid lane turret there, because there's no way for them to run quickly to defend themselves. So we can invade the jungle, place down wards, and just prepare for anything really. Zach sits up here for a bit because we think maybe Timo will come up here, but he's in bot lane, so we're trying to see if anyone will pop up to defend. I sort of try and bait it out here, attack the turret some, got Mordekaiser and Evelyn coming in, so it's about to get very, very uh, risky for me. Thankfully though, Zach's here. He jumps in, I ult him back, we ult him and get, get a kill onto Evelyn. And now we just basically walk out away from Mordekaiser because he has no way of catching up to us, so. An easy kill off Evelyn, we save our asses through some very hard CC, and we're good. Redemption heal to keep us up. And now we look to see maybe if we can get the reverse kill on Mordekaiser this time. He's pushing lane. He doesn't know where we went. For all he knows, we went all the way back. But no, we got a four-man team coming up here to gank. And I probably didn't need a flash right there, but that's all right. We still get the kill off on him. And now with Evelyn... Oh, Evelyn just spawned. But now with Mordekaiser dead, we're like, all right, let's just push down top. We'll take top turn since we have all of mid. Uh oh, looks like uh, Oriana's about to get some rude company, and she dies unfortunately to Zyra. I think the first time I tried to record this is kind of funny. I kept messing up Zaya and Zyra because their names sound so similar, but I don't think I've done it that much this one, which is kind of funny. We just waited. We're just waiting for minions right now so we can push down the top tower, get more objectives for us, and just continue our massive gold lead we have right now. And boom, then we get the knockups on Zyra and Teemo, easy two kills. I didn't get anything because I was attacking the tower, but that's alright. And now we're four man, continuing down top. Or, yeah, continue down top. There's three of them now, so we don't. We think we need to take the tower. 
Unfortunately, we get a bit greedy here, I think. Oh, the four-man knock-up from Rakan, though. Bree did an excellent knock-up. We get spears everywhere. I should have rendered right there. Probably would have killed Mordekaiser, but that's alright. We end up getting all three of them, I want to say. Oh no, this is the one where all of us end up dying to Mordekaiser in the end. That's right. Unfortunately, we all end up dying to that, but that's alright. We got Oriana pushing in the bottom lane. Well, not really pushing. She's just trying to farm it. Meast, come on now. Why why can't you push more? You have a massive lead. We were all top. They were all top. You could have had bot lane turn possibly now. Yeah. Alright. So now we're just waiting for me to spawn again. Watching Mordekaiser. Oh, we're back to Teemo, who's farming top. So exciting. And now we're back to me. Because I'm the important one. You see, I finished now my Blade of the Ruined King. I bought a Mercury or a Quicksilver Sash because I want to remove the CC from like Zyra that could put on me from uh, maybe Mordekaiser slows because his attack, some of his abilities do slow. I bought it on the off chance that I would need it, and it gave me some magic resist too, which will help with Zyra, and Teemo, and Evelyn, or even though no, just mostly Zyra and Teemo. Oh, and Mordekaiser, he does give a bit of magic resist. They ended up getting Dragon off that, yeah. But we see a big chance here, and right there is where I messed up. Zack was about to jump in, but I pulled him in, which canceled his jump. Thankfully, we kill everyone here, and I, I'm the only one who ends up losing their life. But it could have been a lot better if I had let Zack jump in, knock them up, then use my ult. It's probably the only big mess up I had this game with my ults and such. Otherwise, I think I played alright. We're just gonna chase down Evelyn, get her out of mid lane, and push mid lane in. Since we have the superior numbers to her one. Gonna try and go in to defend, it seems. But we got the Zack going in. Rakan, jump in, go! We try to get to her, but unfortunately, she ults. She gets away. We're just gonna keep pushing, though, getting in hit out of this. But we're back to me now. We don't care about that fight. Not at all. Because they're probably going to run out now that we got the inhib. Yeah. And once again, I'm just going to go back top because I see that giant wave that I wanted to get. All that juicy farm. And everyone pretty much... They steal the blue buff from them. Good. And everyone, I think, pretty much just goes back from here. They think we're all on Baron right now because we all disappeared, but we're not, we're not at the moment. We're just trying ew, trying to get their jungle, keep them from getting anything really to help get them in this game. But now we see that they're approaching us, so we all quickly like group around. Everyone but Meast, of course, because Meast is always bad. But that's alright. Trying to see if my team wants to go in here, what we're going to do. And it just diffuses at that point. We all just back off for now. So go back bot, back to top lane, get this farm. Alrighty. And now we're sitting at a very, very nice 11,000 gold lead. Very, very good for us. We got an 11-2 Zag and 11-2 Oriana. We're very, very strong at the moment. Take an easy red buff for myself. That'll be nice so I can kite. Although I don't think I really do much kiting in this game because I'm bad. Well, like I said, I'm bad at Callista. I'm not too good at orb walking, which is the movement you do in between auto attackings. Which Callista is very good at because of her passive, but I'm just bad at it in general. We're all waiting around here, see if maybe we can get a pick off on someone. We see the Mordekaiser and them run in. We start out on some on attacks on Mordekaiser. We burst him down before he can do anything. Zack gets an easy kill off on Zyra. We're gonna get an easy kill off on Zaya. Alrighty, that's good for us. Now let's see what else we can take. Evelyn's nearby. Unfortunately, Rakan misses the push. The Bree misses the push up on Evelyn, which could have been the kill for her, but that's alright. Just gonna back off and heal because of how low we got. Hmm. 
Looks like everyone's going for the kill on me. Does she get it? Shut down. Oh, unfortunately, Bree was just a bit too late to save Meast. Does Bree get the kill, though, on Evelyn? She really wants it. Oh, but Timo shows up. Unfortunately, Rakan will not have the Evelyn's blood. It's kind of funny. I see that now that there's a control ward in their bottom river that they've had this entire time and none of us saw it the entire game. It's kind of funny. Go. And then, oh, there we go. I find it right there. So, bye, control ward. You, you had a long life. I'm not gonna keep it, keep you alive though. And here we see a good opportunity now to get a gank off on Timo yet again. <laughs> Seeing me in bot lane though, Mordekaiz is rushing over to come help Teemo. Until we utterly obliterate Teemo again. He gets gangster shot in the back of the head and we take our kill. And here I run into... Oh, we run into Evelyn I think, maybe? No. We skirt past her thankfully. However, Lucian's in a bad spot. Trying to 1v2. Oh, we got to by dashing over the wall. Okay. And we take a kill off on Zaya and uh, Zyra. Unfortunately, we lost Bree again because Meast is bad. Alright. Looks like we're going to go for the Baron now because they have to defend mid lane. They either come up here to Baron and check it or they lose mid lane at the moment. And thanks to Callista, I have a very strong presence right here. Because we were like, oh shit, we had to get one of them. Either them or the Baron. So I'm just auto-attacking the Baron as Zack's fighting. Stacking on my... Oh, I should have rendered... Unfortunately, they get the Baron off that. But they get the kill on Mordekaiser, so it kind of diffused everything. The only people who have it now are Zaya, Zyra, and uh, Teemo. Oh no, Josiah and Timo, okay. I didn't know that Zyra didn't spawn in time to get it. It kinda sucks that I should have rented early, but probably would have gotten not only the kill on Mordekaiser, but probably Baron as well, but I was afraid that I didn't have enough uh, spears in it when I rented it if I would get it or not. So thankfully the only two people that have Baron buff on their team are like the two weakest people on their team right now. Alright, looks like we're poising to get dragon soon, possibly. Come on. Trying to pull the dragon out. Oh, we're back on me! I'm back, guys! I'm looking maybe for a teleport target right now. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just kind of sitting here. I already bought items. Am I waiting for the teleport? Yeah, yeah I'm waiting. Getting teleported in. So I can go loop around in the mid lane and... Hey look, a Teemo! And I get away from Mordekaiser. Easy kill for me! And we get Dragon, good. Keep it away from Mordekaiser, who we really don't want to have it at. Unfortunately I get hit with the combo right there. End up dying to Zaya. It's alright, we get the reverse kill on her. And we get the easy kill on the Zyra. Now no one has Baron buff anymore. Like I said, I think I did alright this game, but as you can see, I end up dying a bit more in the late game because of how careless I was. Mordekaiser is in an interesting spot here as he's surrounded by enemy minions and our team, but also Zack is solo fighting the Evelyn right now. It's getting a bit risky though. And he gets the kill, very nice. Uh, kind of sucks that Mies dies to, dies to Mordekaiser, but we get the ace in the end, which is very, very nice. Good for our team. Alrighty, so we got Tim pushing bot, Bree and the Lucian in mid lane pushing. I need to go top. Go top, you fool. There's farm there. Where are you going? 
Hey, there you go. You know the farm. You're on your way. Good job. You're not completely dumb past me. <laughs> I just realized that we also have even dragons. They have a cloud and mountain drake. We have a cloud and mountain drake. And I believe the next one that spawns is, the, is uh, the... What is it? Elder Dragon. That's what it's called. God, I, I swear I'm good at League, guys. I've played this game for six years, yeah? Looks like we have a battle in our bot jungle. Hopefully things are going alright. 2v3 it looks like, unfortunately. We get a kill off on Zyra. Unfortunately, Bree dies. However, we got our team collapsing in. Oh, we got the kill on Zaya. And our team is a bit late there, but alright. It's alright. Teemo just kinda sits around, isn't really doing much. To help his team out. Lucian, where did he die? Did they oh, they were fighting in the mid lane and he got just destroyed, I guess. Mies is trying to help out Zack. Unfortunately, he dies as well. Run, Mies! Run away! Where am I heading now? Walk by a ward that I can't see. Good job, B. Uh, heading mid lane with the rest of the team, it seems. Looks like we're poising for a team fight. Well, they're poising for a team fight in mid at least. Evelyn's going to stop my big wave pop. We got a lot of people here in, in the mid lane. I still walk into the stream because I'm bad. And I'm bad because I got snared by Zaya because I wasn't paying attention. Good job, me. I'm good at this game, guys, I swear. I actually am decent. Even though I've never gotten to gold, I've been in bronze and silver mostly throughout my seasons. I do fight gold players because Tiv is, is in gold, Breeze in high silver. So I tend to fight other gold players every now and then, too. So I am good. I'm just not the best at this game at all. Unfortunately, we lose mid lane turret. We're about to go all into mid lane to help save it, possibly. We get Zyra kill. Very nice. Get a Zaya kill as well. Very good. And now we're trying to see if we can cut off any enemies. That Teemo looks juicy. I want it. Oh, I see. Oh, we see Evelyn. So now we're going in onto the Evelyn. Uh, unfortunately, I die again. And Bri accidentally dies too. And Timo dies! Yay! It was a two for three. We got a giant Zack walking through the mid lane, killing the ZZ Rock portal that Mordecai's are built. Eh. Alrighty. Looks like nothing much going on now. Just everyone going about farming. Baron spawning soon, so that's probably going to be a hot contest for everyone soon. Looks like the enemy team's poising more around it than we are. And if we're not careful, they'll probably easily be able to get it. Hey, the camera's back on me. I'm alive again. And I finished my Mercurio Scimitar now. I've got, bla I got a Bloodthirster. I'm almost finished with my build. The last item I want to get is a GA so I can try and survive in combat. Because my ult with Zac is very crucial for team fights. And before we can even get there, they have already gotten Baron. This is not good. All of them now have Baron buff, so it's a bit of a tricky situation. And Zack goes in on Zaya and literally one shots her. Yeah, she died. She did. Kill 
kill Teemo off very easily. Tim and I chase after Mordekaiser. While the three of them fight the rest of the team. Easy kill on Zyra. I try to 1v1 Mordekaiser. I got the rest of my team behind me. And we can kill him easily. Now the only person with Baron buff is Evelyn. And we are all still alive, good health. This should be an easy turret kill and an hit kill for us. And then we'll probably rotate mid and get the mid and hit as well, I believe, right? Or do we just kill? Oh, or are we just going for the win? Looks like we're just going for the win, possibly. My team shields keep me alive, thankfully. And it looks like we got the win. Alrighty, well, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was kind of interesting and different. I know my commentary is not exactly the best, but I hope it's, it's just something different and interesting that you guys enjoy. So, I'll catch you guys next time for maybe more League of Legends if you like this. Just leave a comment, let me know what you think. See you guys later.